engage. Destination locked on. I don't even know if there's any stations out here. I want to get some coffee, but I'm not going to leave my ship out in space. Or they're docking a station. Uh oh. We might have the same problem again. <laughs> we might be stuck in this system. Oh, I love this song. This has to be from Mass Effect 1. I can tell by the sound of it. Yep. <laughs> I can tell the sound between the, t the, the three Mass Effect games, all the music. It's so good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's see if we have a connection error. If we do, that'll be a good time to go get a coffee. Lock back in. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee and I'll be right back. Oh, baby. Wireless headset for the win! <laughs> Oh, delicious. Delicious, delicious coffee. So good. <laughs> Biscuit. <laughs> mm. So I hooked up the, um, not the pro clip for the Trek IR, but the regular one that you're supposed to fasten to a hat. And, um,. And I put it on my headset, dude. My wireless headset. It's awesome. And it works like a dream. I've been using it this whole time. Hmm. Ah. It's not the server that's the problem. It's generating new stars that causes the crash. Oh, damn. All right. Let's see here. Well, hopefully we can make it out this way. Otherwise, it kind of makes exploring kind of dumb. Oh, it's so warm. I sent in a ticket about the problem. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Can't really go to any unexplored systems then. Well, they need to get that fixed because it doesn't make exploring very 
viable at the moment as a profession. Well, let's try it a couple times. If it doesn't work, we'll uh, swing around and make a big U-turn and do some scanning along the way. Track off. Tracking offline. Ah. I'll stop. Affirmative. Open map. Open map. You. Alright. Two, three. Very, very good. Very, very good. That looks like a good one right there, actually. Let's go there first. Engage. Destination locked on. It's probably gonna get pretty hot when we get in here. <laughs> looks like there's a couple of stars there. Track on. Tracking online. Track reset. Tracking reset. Thank you. My pleasure. Hey, we got one. Pretty bright one, but. Might need to do a scan. Yep, I think it just popped up. Unexplored, look at that. Do a scan. Wow. Ten. Wow, look at all these planets. Eat. It's a lot of variety right here with the star. A whole lot of variety. <clears throat> Target ahead. Targeted. Yeah, planets are pretty good for uh, getting good money on. So we'll uh, we'll start some scanning out here. We'll continue working our way out since we're having trouble with jumping. Oh wow! Look at all the rings. It's awesome. go scans away cool a heavy metal content planet and we're in an anarchy system too we might get interdicted by some pirates <laughs> I mean, there's a, if you get like a really good one that no one's really scanned, I think you have to get some good money, but um, it's okay. Like, I had a couple where I got 30k, 40k, I had one where I got 60k per scan. <clears throat> but, I mean, you, I think you need to travel kind of far and get out in some of these systems that haven't been scanned before, or maybe haven't been scanned as frequently. And, I th and then I think if you travel all the way back, like, in your hundreds of light years out, you can get some good money. 
so that's what my, I'm trying to do is get a little bit further out, do some exploring, a couple hundred light years, bring that data back to my empire homeland, trade it in and, and try and get some money and rep. They nerfed the pale yesterday? Really? I had so many paid out to me that were like 250 credits. It's like, really? They nerfed that? <laughs> 250 credits is nothing. Wow. Well, I guess by the sheer number of planets you could go out and scan, I guess people could make a killing, but it's time and you have to fly around and do it, so. The daily patch nerfed it? Aww. Oh well, I still like doing it though, it's pretty fun. I mainly like it because it's the opposite of yesterday. Like yesterday is really fun for me to play, but it's not the best thing for a stream because when you're dogfighting and fighting other ships, it's super enjoyable, but I can't watch chat. I can barely keep up because I'm trying to stay alive and you know, maybe between fights I could look at chat, but Oh, it's 200 credits for the basic ones? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. So we're still going to get some rare ones where we make a killing. I, d I didn't even sell the data on the ones that were 250. I just didn't care. I just went and sold the ones that were... You know, I always sold the ones that were worth a lot. So... Yeah, they weren't very specific, you're right. They usually are pretty vague, too, in the, in the notes. I also noticed there was a way to turn off the rings in the patch notes. Does anyone know how to turn off these, uh, these orbit paths? Payouts for super giant stars only. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. throttle up here how do you uh, turn is it a toggle and options or do I need to like set up a keybind for that oh it's under like in your ship functions really neato let's see orbit lines oh cool oh wow eat Yeah, they didn't say that in the data. They just said add option. Or maybe they said add function or something. I didn't think it'd be uh, in the computer. That's neat. I like that it is. Because sometimes it's pretty convenient to just turn it back on and, and fly along the path of the orbit. <clears throat> that looks cool, though. I kind of like it like this, though. Target ahead. Targeted. Pretty cool. That one unexplored over there. Oh, yeah, it is. Thanks guys, thanks for the tip on that. Pretty neat. something orbiting it.
I don't see it though, but... Fix your Bible thump. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have a few more things to scan, then we'll resume our journey. Go a few hundred light years out. And hopefully the game won't crash when we jump into some of the newer systems. I don't see a single ship on the radar. In fact, I have it in a couple of systems, so... I was hoping to get interdicted here and there, but it might not happen at all. Just gotta keep that fuel scoop going. Keep the tanks full. Shouldn't have any problems. Rocky planet. Right there, next one in line. It's this guy. Six hundred light seconds out. Under a hundred here. Here we go. Good to scan. Hey, Weasel. Thanks for the tweet out, man. Whoops. Thank you for the tweet out. Appreciate it. Well, one of these had rings on it, so we're going to definitely check that out. I think it might be this one. It was the furthest one out on the map. Had some rings. This guy. That's where we're headed. Maybe it has some metal rings. Could be cha-ching. Earth-like with metallic rings, the dream. <laughs> we can live there and we can wreck the entire ring. Make all the battleships in this system. Got all the ore in the world. <laughs> or just have the most massive refinery and station that exports uh, those goods. <laughs> Either way. <clears throat> I'm assuming like if you took it over and you go sell the, or you scanned it and you go sell the data to like the Empire or someone, they're going to send out uh, some people to come get that ore, you know? Ooh. Okay. 
which is kind of kind of cool. I mean, I just wish I could see it kind of in progress. You know, it'd be kind of neat. we go now we got gravity with us that gravitational pull slingshotted me around it <laughs> I'm like an hour late but uh yeah it was good man oh yeah <laughs> <They're> so stupid <laughs> target ahead Targeted. <laughs> now I'm going to make you want to play Mass Effect. Yo. Hey, Buddha's online. Nice. Alright, should be it. Yep. Galaxy map. There is a whole galaxy out there. Let's go see it. I messed that up because I was targeting other planets? Looks like it. Uh, maybe not. No, it worked. We're good. Maybe not. Wait a minute. I just saw one. Yeah, derped. <laughs> totally derped. Oh wow, how many hours are you into it right now, Mr. Nuts? <laughs> the Emperor strike you down. I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> Come at me, Emperor's Cup. <laughs> Activate frame shift drive. Engaging frame shift drive. 44 hours in. Wow. Damn good amount. Pretty solid. Are you looking to do as much as you can to get as much done in the game as possible? Or are you just trying to go for the story? You could probably get it done in four days if you really put some time into it. Yeah, you gotta go ham, man. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like you really gotta focus on it the next four days. <laughs> Don't crash, game. Come on. Yes. Good, good. Give in to the hatred. There's a ship here too, above me. There he is. Seven objects. What are we looking at? Cool. Alright, we're out of here though. Peace. I'm getting interdicted. Holy shit, okay, I'm ready. 
see what's gonna get me here. Powered engines. Power to engines full. It's clean. Why are you interdicting me, Turd Muffin? Okay, whatever. You're cool, man. You're cool. Punch it. Buckle up. Punch it. Buckle up. He's trying to keep up with me, but prepare to t prepare for death, fool. Is what he said. <laughs> what a cute guy. You're cute. Hi. Oh yeah, yeah, the dwarf city. Yep. There's a pretty lengthy mission that they give you there that you have to do. I think it's the main story. Pretty, pretty damn lengthy. Should keep you busy. That's scooping, bro. Good. 25 objects. Ooh. Should go check these out, maybe. Huh? I guess it's those two top ones there. Let's do it. Some old lady, what? Some old lady who's going to lead you to your doom. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Wiki's take on it is so awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. No, that's just as fun. That's just as damn fun, Mr. Nuts. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Modding Skyrim. <laughs> Forever modding Skyrim, you are, sir. You are indeed. Oh, I can scan it from here. Nice. It's pretty cool. Hey, Ast2O. Good day, Ast2O. A.K. Baby Cakes Sexy Pants. X-O-X-O. Obamacare Planet. <laughs> yeah, their economy was pretty bad, though, but yeah, we found it. Alright. Now, I wonder if that's the one I was looking at on the map. Let's actually see. There's two that had rings, and I should have got this one. And I did. Okay, so I can kind of see on the map which one I'm going after. Because I could tell uh, by the orbiting uh, other planets. Um, so the other one with a ring. This one. I'll check that out, too. <clears throat> How are you getting along in the game, Astwo? Last I heard you were working on uh, some trading. Hey, Buddha, what's up, man? Welcome. Welcome, sir. There we go. Not really done much. Gotcha. <laughs> I 
How's the fishmongering going? <laughs> Punch it. Engage. Destination locked There we on. go. Business stinks. Business ain't good. <laughs> and it also literally stinks. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think I took the economical route. We need to go for the fastest route. Look at that 2.2 light years or whatever. We need to we need to address this immediately pretty much. Oh yeah. Problem. Cuz I relogged in the game. Oh, there we go. That's a new path. <laughs> Close map. They're not respawning. He's working on taking what goods are there and taking it to the next station that has them. He's got a route worked out where he can just take rare goods between, like, what? Would you say Tiny Tina? Three or four stations? Are you waiting 10 minutes for them to respawn, uh, Tiny Tina, or are you just getting what they have and going? Engage. Destination locked on. are not dead, but they have been nerfed. Just getting what they have and again, you're getting going. Okay, that's cool. That's neat. Smart way to do it. Just get out of there, yeah. Still good for starting out, but not much really after that. Ah, okay. But if you can also, like if Tiny Tina's doing a rare good run, he can uh, take whatever rare goods they have and then take another item and fill up the rest of his cargo hold with something else that'll sell at that station. That might work. So at least you're making a good profit off the rare goods that do have, whether it's two units or ten units. And then you're making a little bit of profit off the other items. So that's a smart way of trading. Did this system need a scan? Let's see. Star does, for sure. Target ahead. Targeted. Scan the lemon star. Delicious lemon. <laughs> yeah, that's smart, man. I, I might look at uh, some of the rare good systems in that list you sent me and see if I can figure out my own route. It sounds like a lot of fun for a trading day. Because I would like to get my Type 6 like completely pimped. That thing can really jump far if you uh, get it upgraded, you know. I have only had one good 1k run, Astro, and that was when I was taking slaves. 
I can't find anything that's 1k each way. Yep. I'm the same way. I haven't found anything. If I can find something, I'm going to run the hell out of it in the ground. Just two stars. Still pretty cool, though. Get out of here. Should make it better. Okay, cool. That's good. I'm glad they're focusing on it. That dev team, man, they're awesome. I know I'm always saying that. It's a fucking broken record, but yeah. I feel like they're just really on shit. This ain't no stomping lands. <laughs> Oh, I know what I did wrong. Derp. Totally derped. There we go. There it is. Engage. Engage. Destination locked on. I love that they added that galactic average thing. That's a really new uh, thing that they added. <clears throat> a couple weeks old. That was not there, man. So you had no idea if it was lower or higher than the galactic average when you were buying it. This, uh... Assuming we got the root problem. Okay. Cool. Hey, man, as long as they get it 100% fixed, that's cool. That's cool with me, man. I figured that would have came a lot sooner, though, because so many people just like space trucking. But whatever. Okay, Tiny Tina. See you in a see you in a bit. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'd like to use my type six to get money to get an asp to then trade with the asp. Because that fully upgraded asp can almost hit forty light years of jump. And use that for cargo runs. And possible defending itself on interdictions, because it's pretty, it's pretty solid in combat too. Just depends on how the modules work out with the ASP. We'll have to look at it when we get it. I think they're about six million, so it's gonna be a little bit because I, I put a lot of my money into the Cobra here. Track off. Tracking offline. <clears throat> that was last night when I was leaving. Tidewater stuck sideways, blocking the exit, almost crashed in it. Holy crap. The ass was pretty kick ass for fighting. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Resri was always using it before the wipe, the. Yeah, the, what he called the angry bumblebee. <laughs> Has the highest potential alpha strike in the game. Wow. You do the weapon location. <laughs> 22 objects. Oh my god. My girdy gird. Crazy. Looking at it here. Doesn't look like a very nice system to scan, so we're gonna keep moving here. Target ahead. Targeted. <clears throat> I 
It's a pretty solid ship. I mean, no matter like how you pimp it out, whether you want to combat or cargo runs, it's pretty awesome, man. Because when you're doing long, like long uh, cargo runs, man, I will say that uh, jump range is just so nice if you can really spend the money to get it upgraded. Track on. Tracking online. Engage. Destination locked on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, is, I think they're about the same modules, same as the modules on the Cobra, right? Like 1.6 mil. Oh, I can't scoop this. Yeah, and plus your time, too. Target ahead. Targeted. Okay. Scan is good. Chopper. I know, you were really liking that bad boy yesterday, Wiki. Good shit, man. Things sound so good. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can't make it all the way there, but we can make it probably pretty So, Close map. All right. Hey, D Sizzle, what's up, man? Good to see you. What's going on, man? How's life? Open comms? Affirmative. Oh, Palladium, he said he found. Slim did. Nice. Engage. Destination locked on. Pretty good, man. Pretty damn good. No complaints here, sir. Happy to finally be playing Elite Dangerous. As long as I don't get pirated, Slim says. <laughs> good point, good point. They scanned that cargo. I might want that palladium. Who else is in the group? Um, exit. I don't know. Yeah, you can click on it. At least I can, but maybe because I'm the owner. Open comms. Affirmative.
Open comms. Track reset. Tracking reset. I gotta get some rankage. Rankage with the Empire. Engage. Destination locked on. Oh, don't do it to me, game. I feel like we're going to get a crash here. Hey, welcome back, Tiny Tune. Effects and crashed. Hello, Rafa. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Doing pretty good. How are you today? Uh, I don't know. D says it depends what you consider to be normal. <laughs> Probably like early, early afternoon my time would probably be uh, normal now. Yeah. Open map. Not so much in the morning anymore, I'd say. Close map. Thank you, Rosie. No problem. Engage. Destination locked on. I am doing exploring. Trying to get some money and some rep up with the Empire. Had a couple interdictions. One guy we just completely wasted, but uh, the other one, he was clean, and I didn't feel like sticking around, waiting for his clean status to switch to wanted. Uh, plus, I think we were in an anarchy system, so I was just like, meh, I can't really get a bounty out of you, so I'm out of there. <laughs> so we're exploring, checking out stuff. Yesterday we did a ton of dogfighting, that was pretty fun, like four or five hours of dogfighting in a nav beacon. I love the combat in this game. All stars. Target ahead. Targeted. Since we're scooping, right? Nice. 
We headed out, uh, headed out about 400 light years from uh, our home, our home base where I've been operating out of. Gonna just try and do some random scanning out here. Some of these systems, and then I'll head back home. Try and sell the data. See if we can make some moolah. Rosie, punch it. Punch what? Sorry, I was not listening. Watching Game of Thrones on Space Flicks. Game of Thrones again? Rosie, please. What did I do? Engage. Destination locked on. Come on, baby, don't crash. No, we're gonna crash. Oh, we made it! Excellent. Objects. Target ahead. Targeted. Ooh. Some of these look interesting. Is it the holiday sale right now? Dude, I can be I have to be totally honest with you. Since I got this game, I haven't even I haven't opened up. I feel like this guy's trying to interdict me. I'm going to let him. Let me get some distance a little bit. Since I've got this game, I haven't even turned I haven't even fired up Steam once. Yeah. We're in an anarchy system. Sales on. Gotcha. Power to engines. Power to engines full. Power to weapons. Power to weapons full. You choose death very well, he says. This guy's adorable. Cycle group. levels are crazy here when you're looking at the damn star. Engines. Power to engines. Full. Cycle group. Activate super cruise. Engaging frame shift drive. Buckle up. Yeah, me neither, man. No games I really need or want, really. Meh. It's uh, 
Maybe a couple months from now, I'll look at Steam and see if I can get some deals. But usually the sale's pretty temp. Honestly, if you go to some other sites, you know, you can get a lot of those games for around that price. The sale price, I mean. So. You can always buy more Skyrim. <laughs> Engage. Destination locked on. Oh, yeah, this war mine looked pretty cool, yeah. That's an indie game, right? That game looked really neat. I like the art style on that. And a very interesting take on a survival game, that is. That didn't seem to update any. Maybe it's just this, uh, target ahead? Targeted. Just this. Yeah. It's weird. We're going to hit our destination. Got here pretty quick. Oh, the new Metal Gear came out, right? I haven't seen any streams of that. I really want to catch JP streaming it because his quality on his stream is fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, I thought Dan and, like, Lyric had good-looking streams since JP got his new computer. Holy shit, that thing is hot. Stream, and he streams, like, a, like something ridiculous, like, 5K bitrate. Just not recommended. Twitch usually gets kind of mad when you do that. <laughs> but when it's, like, a really, really pretty game, he'll bump it up. Which is awesome. Uh, track reset. Tracking reset. I noticed some people were streaming the new Halo, Halo 5 beta. How's that looking? Has anyone else checked that out? So it's just a massive, massive star, huh? Or do we have a lot of stars in here? Just a massive star, that's why it, it's lit up so well, I guess. On the map, look at this thing. You would think there'd be multiple stars in a cluster here. Halo stinks? Oh, really? <clears throat> um, he does that roleplay show I like to watch. His channel is, uh, here you go. It's it me, JP. He's pretty cool with like Total Biscuit and Dodger and Jesse. Uh, really cool with EG and Control. If you ever watch any StarCraft, and he runs that roleplay show on his channel. He, he different types of them. Medieval. There's a sci-fi one they're doing in space now called Swan Song, which is pretty cool to get into. Uploads all of his vods to YouTube, so you can always catch the shows there and get caught up. I think they've been doing the roleplay main show, the medieval one, for three years now. It's kind of ridiculous how long he's been doing it, so it's really cool, though. But JP's awesome, man. Check him out. He's really funny, man. 
His uh his his motto is when you sub you get fisted by chat and they all spam these fists in chat. So when you sub he's like get fisted. <laughs> JP's a boss. <laughs> You'll like him a lot, dude. He's plus he has an epic beard, which you just can't take your eyes off of. It's just mesmerizing. <laughs> All right. Well, we're we're done here, and there's a cool star. I guess I could I'd scan the star, right? Target ahead. Targeted. I mean, we came all this way. Might as well scan this big monster. And I guess we better get out of here and go find something else. Do huh? Get a little bit further out, maybe. Uh. Well, we came from came from Fatla, which is right above Beta One Two Canyon. So, just kind of mark that, go back. <laughs>